God's blessings to you from our parish family at St. Agatha, St. Martyrporus Parish. Offer this reflection on the scriptures for this coming Sunday, New Year's Day, and also the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, for your spiritual nourishment and encouragement. Let's take a moment before we begin to recognize God's presence in each of us and to give thanks for all of our blessings. My brothers and sisters, a new calendar year is about to begin. Normally this first Sunday in the octave of Christmas, we would be celebrating the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. But because Christmas fell on Sunday this year, this feast is celebrated on Friday, December 30th. This Sunday, New Year's Day, the Universal Church celebrates the World Day of Peace, and we also begin the year celebrating Mary, the Mother of God. This may seem like the wrong focus for the beginning of the new year, that we should instead celebrate the gift of Jesus Christ in our lives on the very first day of the year. So what's the deal? What the church is raising up is not to focus on Mary, but to see Mary as a conduit, a vessel for bringing the love of Christ into the world. She also sets the example for us, who as disciples of her son are called to share our lives, pointing others to Christ through our actions and through our words. The best images of Mary that I love are those where Mary is clearly pointing to or guiding us to Jesus. We pray through Mary, not to Mary. In the, in the Hail Mary, we pray, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. We're asking Mary to intercede for us. The beginning of the new year is a great time to make one and only one resolution, to live our lives honoring the spark of the divine that is in each of us and allowing the light of Christ to shine through with and in us in all that we do. Our gospel for Sunday recounts the visit of the shepherds to witness the birth of the newborn Son of God, the Messiah, the Savior of us all. It is the least in society who are invited to come to the stable to bear witness and in their material poverty find themselves rich in peering on the face of the eternal God, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a feeding trough for animals. They are witness to us as well, especially those who are materially comfortable and those with wealth far more than we need, that we will not as easily find Christ in malls, corporate offices, and in mansions, in places of political power and institutions. No, we will find Christ most visibly on the peripheries of society, in the homeless, the outcasts, the refugee, in the poor and disenfranchised. Christ enters the human family through a human vessel, the Virgin Mary. Christ continues to enter into our world through each of us who claim discipleship in him. Christ greets us and invites a response in love in those in great material, emotional, and spiritual need in our society. May this new year of 2023 find us inviting Christ into a deeper place in our hearts and by doing so allow us to be fully for others what God created us to be. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family of St. Agatha, St. Martin Porus, I want to invite you to join us for Mass this coming Sunday, New Year's Day, St. Agatha at 9 a.m. or at St. Martin Porus at 11 a.m. Both services are also live streamed. We welcome your participation in our community prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Please take the time to share this video with others on Facebook. It is a great way for you to participate in spreading the good news. Thank you for all the ways that you allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. And my friends, in all things, be blessed. <laughs>